Devils. That came to an end on Wednesday night at Westchester. Westchester just, they just pounded the basket from the three-point line, from the two-point line, from the free-throw line. They just really had a lot going on on Wednesday night. It was just too much for the Warriors to overcome. This Millersville team is a team that shoots 45%. The Warriors shooting over 48%. So, again, the matchup would be advantageous for the Warriors, but that doesn't get you anything, Bob Bertain. You still got to put the ball in the hoop in order to score. Yeah, and, uh, you know, for the Warriors, that consistency is really, you know, kind of important for what they've been able to do lately. And it's been, it's been an up and down, you know, stretch where they just haven't been able to, you know, get that consistency. Uh, so we'll see how things, you know, turn out today. Warriors come away with the basketball. They steal it. Carlos Pepin down low. He'll flush it through. The Warriors on a 12-0 start. Casey Stitzel can't believe it. And Millersville can't get out of their own way right now. Yeah, the Warriors press at times has not been as strong as we've seen it. Teams have been breaking it easily, but right now Millersville's having a tough time with it. Day Waters gets it in the front court. Mency has it now. The other end, Tyshawn Trail is number 23 for the Warriors. Down low for Pepin, another flush as he beats Matt Dade to the basketball. Carlos has eight. By Justin Paz, two on two. Paz, oh, lost the dribble, got it back. Out to Tyshawn Trail, thought about a three. McAlilly filling the lane, going to go up with the right hand and scores! Wow, McAlilly came out of nowhere to join the offense for Lakeem McAlilly. Hendricks with five points in the corner for a Duda three. Down it goes! David Duda hits a shot right before the buzzer, and the Warriors open up a 45 to 31 lead at the half. Oh, talk about a dagger at the end of the half. ESU is going to cannot goes up off the glass no good ball is bouncing around like a pinball and the Warriors come away with it Justin Paz feels Jalen McGlone for the flush beautiful fast break run by Justin Paz and Jalen McGlone and a timeout taken by Casey Stitzel as the Warriors get the lead back to double digits 57 46 we're back in 60 seconds for the break about Jalen McGlone and his ability to help take over a game. Well, he has scored nine of his 11 points here in the second half as the video audience watches the flush. 11. Oh, and Hendricks loses the dribble. It's picked up by Pepin. Pepin trying to work on Stover. Euro step and up and over Stover goes Carlos Pepin for his fourth. Over to Davis. Davis is going to use a Euro step, but Carlos Pepin says, get that out of here. The ball is saved in the corner by the Warriors. That was Mike Rain.